welcome back to the channel. Here, we dive into the Word of God, a source of peace, hope, and boundless love. We share teachings, stories, and inspiration, all grounded in God's promises. First, please like the video to show your focusing on His teachings and comfort. Our community is here to meditate together. Today, God has a powerful message for those with true faith. Watch till the end for blessings and miracles that could transform your life. Imagine waking up to a world of total darkness, no sunlight or artificial light. Some claim that three days of darkness could occur in September 2024. Is this possible? Let's explore this with the help of God's Word. The Bible's prophecies, including the ninth plague of Egypt, suggest that such an event might be near. This plague brought a darkness so profound it could be felt, symbolizing God's judgment and withdrawal from disobedient people. In Egypt, this darkness was not just physical but a challenge to their son God, R.A. By enveloping Egypt in darkness, God declared his sovereignty over all creation and the gods of Egypt. This act showed that the God of Israel has supreme authority and is different from any other deity, possessing both the power to judge and to protect. Despite the clear signs of God's power, Pharaoh's stubbornness persisted. He offered to let the Israelites go, but only if they left their livestock behind. Many see this biblical account as a prophecy for the end times, with saints like Saint Padre Pio predicting a coming dark age. So, are we nearing our own three days of darkness? While the darkness might not be physical, it could be a spiritual and moral crisis driven by evil leaders and corrupt societies. September 2024 might bring such a shift. Share these warnings with loved ones, act as God's messenger, and prepare your hearts through prayer. Let's pray together, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Guide us through these uncertain times, fill us with your peace, and protect us from evil. Help us to recognize spiritual battles and give us strength to spread your truth. We pray for unity, healing, and revival. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We surrender our lives to you, trusting in your plan. Amen. Here is God's word for you, I love you eternally, in times of doubt and pain. Let me be your guide and find peace in my presence. Even through struggles, I am with you. Trust in my plans, and I will lead you to freedom and joy. Your faith will be rewarded, and I will heal your wounds. Do not fear, for I am your strength and support. Embrace my love and prepare for the blessings ahead. Choose to trust me, and I will guide you into a better path. I am here for you, you can share anything with me. When you are upset, talk to me and find solace in my embrace. Be cautious about confiding in untrustworthy people who may profess love but could betray you. My child, embrace my words to know me more deeply. A new chapter in your life is unfolding, bright and free from past pains. When you weep, it will be because you see my promises coming to fruition. In moments of silence, I know that I am present. I whisper through my spirit, infusing you with life, love, and hope day and night. I nourish you with truth and encourage you to recognize my work in your life. Run this race with me, and I will grant you victory. You are a champion, a warrior, a conqueror, an overcomer. I provide you with the strength and energy to persevere, and I am with you every step of the way. I hear your cries and respond. I see you in the early hours when you seek me, with eyes open saying, Father, I trust you. I know you are there. You bow your head, yet remain brave, making a steadfast plea for my love and response. 
My heart is open to you, even in your weakness, you are gentle and radiant. Be still within, for I will soon appear. Do not wait for heaven to experience my glory. You are my child now and will accomplish wonderful things through your devotion to me. Move forward, my beloved, for I am generous and provide abundantly. Come and receive me, your prayers and courage bring blessings. Cherish the life you have been given. I have bestowed upon you a strong heart. Do not retreat, pray fervently, work sincerely, and be faithful. Offer me your heart and love, and I will ensure you have all you desire. Listen to me daily, open your spirit to faith and hope, so the enemy cannot deter you with despair. No one can overcome me, the enemy's attacks cannot truly harm you. I want you to understand your true self beyond the lies others impose on you. Find courage in life's trials. You are a rock, adhering to my commands. Guard these truths more than mere words or feelings. Always remember me, your Father. Open your eyes and see me, open your hands and hear my voice, open your arms, and I will come near. Trust me as a child trusts a protector who provides. Bring me your trust, your most precious possession. Listen and receive these words from my heart to yours. Close your eyes and trust, receive. This gentle love surrounds your heart when the world is filled with anxiety and disappointment. There is a God who loves you and waits with open arms to welcome you home. I have chosen you because of the simplicity of your heart. Despite hearing many things, you have not turned away from me. You know that nowhere else will you find such unconditional love, hope, and acceptance. Keep your faith strong, pray to me daily, and take time to sit with me in silence. What you sow with me will be reaped a thousandfold. I am about to do great things in your life, beyond your wildest dreams. I am leading you to places your heart can only imagine, opening doors you thought were forever closed. My words and promises are true. Each day, I hear your prayers and the faith in your words. I love you deeply and will bless you until there are no more tears of disappointment. Stand by me and look towards the horizon. Share your dreams with me. Have you lost them all? I remember you as a child, dreaming of places to see, the light shining within you, but as time passed, your smile faded. I know you were burdened with more than you could bear, and those who should have helped you did not. I saw you turn inward when no one was fighting for you, but you always persevered, lighting up your darkness with rays of a better future. Rejection and hardship do not define you. Something drives you forward, overcoming obstacles to embrace life and take risks. Tomorrow holds your destiny to grow, achieve, leave, return, and help many, including yourself. I knew this before your conception. It is a slow refining process, unfolding you like a flower. You have endured harsh seasons, but it was all preparation. You are my beloved child, destined to bring my good news to others and comfort those who grieve. When you call, I will answer. Do not fear, for I am with you. I am bound by my word. You have acted with maturity, upholding honor. Now you are ready to enter a new realm of thought where you will reside until the end of your days. Focus on your path, not on others. You have dreams, concentrate on them rather than watching others' dreams come true. Let them dream, but you must dream too. Your efforts will not be in vain or forgotten. You have come this far not to turn back. I have brought you here to inherit the promised blessings. Your hope will be granted and multiplied. You and your family will be blessed, even as others face poverty and fear. While others lament their poverty, 
you will thank me for all I have given you. Many despair as their world crumbles, but your mind is fertile ground. When you heed my words, I am planting seeds that will grow into new branches, sprouting and blossoming with countless flowers. The gates of heaven are open to you. You will feel my love so profoundly that you will never be the same. Failure will no longer be part of your life or the lives of those close to you. My spirit will be so close that you will find peace and strength only by relying on me and listening to my words. You will rejoice every day regardless of circumstances. You will stand firm, inspired by the spirit to continue your journey. Your arms will be strong, your feet swift. New thoughts will fill your mind as you open new doors in life. Cast away all fear. You will speak with authority, and no position or power will make you feel insecure, for you are loved by me. You will open your heart, and blessings will flow through you like water through a rope. Miracles will flood your life. All the hardships that have befallen you will not define you. Everything you have lost will be restored, multiplied, and blessed. You were made for success, and you are a winner. My love has made you a conqueror when all seemed lost. Even when hope seems faint, my spirit reveals my mighty promise. I did not choose you to fail. You were made to win. I desire you to seek more of me, to know me more fully. Few will offer you a love as pure and vast as mine. Many will not understand it, and some will reject it. They doubt they are loved, and this doubt leads to loneliness and mistrust of others. Come to me with your weary and yearning heart. It is my right and nature to bless you. Your faith in me is pure. Your intentions towards me are always good. I desire to fulfill the noble intentions you have for your family. I will keep you from the burden of debt. Trust me when I speak and in the plans I have for you. My word is sure and safe, and my plans are for peace and prosperity. The blessings I give are free, not for accumulating wealth but for enriching the lives of others. What I give should be sown like seeds. Sow where they can multiply. Do not hoard these seeds, let them flow like a river of life and remove the obstacles that hinder your growth. I am the God of abundance, who blesses, shares, and gives. I nourish you and multiply the blessings I bestow so you will lack nothing. I see how difficult this life is, and I know the weight of the world's burdens. I fill your heart with words of faith, hope, and love, words of eternal life. If you keep them in your heart and mind, many victories await you. You have nothing to fear or lack in your life or the lives of your children. They cannot overcome you. I am making you more aware of my supernatural activity through my spirit. My hand not only reassures but also provides strength and self-control to stand, act, fight, and overcome opposition. They will retreat in fear, and nothing will make you cower. Your character is strong, but my presence makes you stronger. I have given you joy instead of despair, song instead of burdens, and clarity of purpose. You are precious to me because you were chosen from the beginning for a purpose. Therefore, be strengthened by my splendor. I will uplift your spirit, and the winds of my power will propel you. Venture boldly, and no enemy will hinder you. I will open every door before you. I have inspired you with my presence. Ask, and I will provide. Gather blessings, and they will flow from your life in everything you do. Give as you receive, ask boldly, and all will be yours. This cycle of grace must be worked out. I have decreed that the more you receive, the more you will continue to receive. This works best when you give as freely as you have received. Give generously. 
The more you share in good faith, the more you will receive. Give from wherever you can. The purse I have placed in your hand is always open. Spend it generously on every corner, wherever you encounter the poor, the lost, the hungry, the homeless. Do not merely meet their needs but seek their good and the good of the world, and you will find that all human relationships and needs are yours to address for any reason, today, tomorrow, always. My purpose is to bless you, but do not focus on silver and gold. Instead, think of what is eternal. The wealth you seek will be yours, but focus on your true needs and the needs of others. Your life will be full, and you will have enough. Walk with courage and integrity. Always expect my goodness. When you are weak, seek my help and strength. You are more than a conqueror, made for abundance and joy. Nothing is impossible for me. I am your God, your help, your salvation. My ways are always good. Believe in the promise of my love. Your trust in me, no matter how small, will result in greatness. Nothing will stop the blessings I have planned for you. I love you.